In 2008, and again in March, we asked our readers to tell us about their calibration practices, how and why they calibrate their instrumentation. Hi, this is Walt Boys, editor of Control and ControlGlobal.com with another market intelligence report from the Process Automation Media Network. As far as accuracy is concerned, in 2008, almost 38% of respondents said they were happy with 1% full scale. The responses in 2010 were pretty much the same, about 37%. The number of people who were happy with 2% full scale, however, jumped from 8.4% to 13 and a quarter, which is an interesting shift in the data. This could simply mean that more people understand the difficulties of in situ calibration. The number who wanted half percent of reading dropped to about 8.5% in 2010 from almost 14% in 2008. But the percent of reading folks still amounted to about 17% of the total respondents in 2010, but that number was down from 20% in 2008. For calibration interval, there were changes as well. Manufacturer's recommendation was the interval of choice for 36% of respondents, up from 31% in 2008. Historical trend analysis was down correspondingly from 39.4% in 2008 to 34.6% in 2010. This makes me wonder if this is correlatable with the shift to vendor-led operations and the loss of plant-level experience. A uniform calibration interval for all instruments stayed the same at about 30%. Now there were significant changes in the types of field calibrators that our readers use. Multi-parameter calibrators went from 42.6 to 54%. Documenting calibrators went from 26% to 33 And vendor-specific calibrators went from 39% to 51%, while single-parameter calibrator use declined from 69 to 66%. And the use of calibration software for PCs or laptops stayed essentially the same. Now, when we asked for preference, a very different picture emerges. The preference for single parameter calibrators declined from 28 to 25 percent. Vendor specific calibrators went from 6.5 to 10 percent. And multi parameter calibrator preference went from 27 to 31 percent between 2008 and 2010. Similarly, the preference for documenting calibrators went up from 13% to 16%, but the preference for calibration software on PCs or laptops had a large decline from almost 20.5% to 13% in the same time period. But while preferences have changed, what our readers actually do hasn't changed much. 75% of respondents said they use pen and paper to record calibration results. Back in 2008, the number was a bit over 74%, so basically there has been no change. Documenting calibrators came in at 24% this time, as opposed to 26% in 2008. And the use of calibration management software has increased somewhat, from 43 to 49%. Since smart instruments use various field bus designs and can be calibrated or have their performance and diagnostics checked remotely, in 2008 and again in 2010, we asked which bus they were using. In 2008, 15% said they were using foundation field bus, while that number increased to almost 28% in 2010. The people who had no interest stayed basically the same, 45% in 2010 to 44% in 2008. The number of people said that they didn't use Foundation Field Bus but would find it useful declined from roughly 42 percent to close to 28 percent in 2010. And this correlates well with increases in FF usage that we have seen. Nearly as large an increase was seen in heart use from 61 percent in 2008 to 73 percent in 2010. Interestingly, the don't use but would find it useful crowd barely changed, while the not of interest group declined precipitously from 24% in 2008 to 12.5% in 2010. Obviously, there's been a push from not interested to currently use for heart. Profibus use has seen some shifts too. In 2008, 52% said they weren't interested. 
and that's now 46%. Current users increased from 14% of responses to almost 30% in 2010, while the don't use but would find it useful responses declined from 35% in 2008 to 25% in 2010. Clearly, the field buses are beginning to make their influence felt. For 2010, we added a field bus, Wireless Heart, which wasn't available in 2008. Current users amount to about 13% of respondents, while the don't use folks were at 49%. If the other field bus data is correct, we can expect to see many of the don't use respondents moving into the current user category the next time we run this survey. So we've seen that while the use of multi-parameter and documenting calibrators has gone up, the use of pen and paper has remained the same. This surely indicates how conservative operations and maintenance personnel in the process industries can be. This has been a market intelligence report on calibration practices. I'm Walt Boys for the Process Automation Media Network. Thanks for watching.